What's going on, everybody? Level and Diecast. You know the channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing part two of the Real Working Rigs Rock Through, and we're going to cover uh, material haulers. You know, the guys that that bring the materials to the job sites, um, and sometimes even move material around the job sites. So we're going to jump right into this. <clears throat> We are going to start with the JCB 726 articulated dump truck. Get that guy adjusted there a little bit. Get some, get some zoom. There we go. Uh, this is how it debuted in yellow. <clears throat> um, it's a pretty sweet model. Um, the, the articulation in the middle is what you'd expect. <clears throat> However, um, it does not have a lot of friction in there. There's not enough friction, um, is what I would say. So as you see, it kind of, it kind of droops down a little bit. So usually what I try to do is I just try to give it a little bend. It's fine when it's sitting there, but if you were to, you know, if you were a kid actually playing with this, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, obviously we're working rig, right? So you're going to have. A dump and then on the JCB that is your flap at the back um, to allow it to dump that's all the way up as far as it goes and then of course you have your full articulation in the joint so moves all the way around any which way you want come on there we go Get that to focus there we go one of these models out of the way guys so i can show it to you so there are the details to it matte black everything that's black is matte with the exception of a little bit on the cab there there's the back very good detail in the actual casting itself very very nice uh got the smokestack off the back like i said this is a separate piece Got the detail on the front. Looking pretty good. There's your top down. And there's the deets. This is World Working Rig number 11. C21. That's when it debuted. There you go. Uh, JCB 726. 2009. 2009. <clears throat> All right, your next version is going to be the exact same deco details, uh, but instead of yellow, uh, it's going to be uh, like a gray. It's a light gray. It's a light gray. Uh, exactly the same details. Now, the only difference is, is that one didn't have detail on the flap here, and this one does. Otherwise, it's, it's exactly the same. So, you know, they did try to expand a little bit. They did try to add a little bit extra detail in there. Um, you know, just, just to move forward with it. Um, I think that it, it helps out a lot. Um, there's no like friction in these parts, so it's kind of hit or miss if they actually stay up. Um, but there's plenty of friction in the actual dump. This one is, so I don't remember the years guys. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the base C35. That way you guys can translate it if you want to know when it came out. Because, like I said, this is technically a, uh, up to date as well. All right, we're going to move on. They did it in, in white. It's like an off-white. It's a pale white. Um, this has, <laughs> this one's kind of like in the middle. It has the side prints, but it didn't have the back print. So it's kind of a mixture of the first two, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, the yellow painted on the wheels looks good. I think it's a good offset. Um, in case you were curious... Um, that white is very, very close to the gray. So, but they are two different versions. Um, the one cool thing, or I guess the one odd thing I didn't point out about this gray one is the whole back section is gloss black, but the whole front section is matte black, um, on the base. And I'm not really sure why, but just thought I'd point that out. Something interesting. Uh, this one is all matte, hundred percent. So, I'm not sure what the issue is. Uh, C47. So there you go. 
Man, struggling with that, that Zoom today, guys. Struggling with that Zoom. All right, we're going to move on to the very last version of the JCB. Uh, now, this version uh, was released as part of the Real Working Rig line Rebirth. Uh, this came out. This was one of the very first models that came out on the on the debut in this red. Um, it's really nice getting it in the red. You know, the first ones, it was like yellow, white, and gray. And that's pretty much all you got, which is fine. That's very accurate. But it's nice that they got a little bit of variety in with this one. Um, it's interesting that the bed flap is a different color. Um, you know, I, I thought maybe at first that they had some left over from way, way, way back in the day. But that's just a stupid idea. I don't even know why I thought that. Kind of makes me feel like a retard. I'm pull this up. Let's take a look at it real quick. Just because it's red. Give you a little bit of a different look to it. You know what, guys? Let's... let's 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 make this work with us. Just being so difficult with the focus. So difficult to focus, guys. I apologize. And this one is E31. And this is all matte matte black on the bottom. So man. Focus is killing me. Focus is killing me. All right, guys, we're going to switch gears here just a little bit. Uh, we're going to go with the Man TGS delivery truck. And uh, hopefully the Focus will work with me a little bit here. Um, I really like this version. This is my favorite version. There are three versions of this uh, released to date. This is the debut version, numero uno. Um, comes with the two, two containers in the back. This one has a number... Of features number of things going on with it. Um, it it definitely lends a much much better credence to the word real working rig um, Which is I think why I like this one so much uh, So this one has uh, a number of things going on with it. So we'll take a look at it up close real quick Tom's transport It's interesting the, the whole front end is part of the body so to keep that metal, it's 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 interesting. It's an interesting design. There's your front details. It's a left-hand drive, which is kind of interesting. Roll around to the other side here. Really, really good detail. Subtle, subtle tampo printing in the back, but it's perfect. Exactly what you expect. And flip this over to the base. Real working rig number eight. Uh, day code is B31. So that's when this debuted. Uh, really good detail for the fuel tanks and stuff. It looks real, real good. Now, like I said, this one has a number of features. So for one, you got a crane that lifts up, rotates 360. It also collapses. Uh, these containers are just snapped in there. So you got this uh, little hook hook piece, and these are your containers. They are pretty solid. It's pretty solid plastic, screwed together, two pieces. Uh, specifically built one direction. You can only haul them in one direction, which is fine. Uh, this particular one comes with two, and there is notches in the back to keep them from sliding around. But it also has drop down. Drop down decks on the side, so that's pretty cool. You know they're they're plastic in the way they sit, so you'd have to put something on there, to hold it down for a little while, to get it smoothed out. It's not bad. It's very very nice though. A lot a lot of play value. Um, that's as far as the crane goes though, so the crane doesn't actually go to the ground. But it's a it's a lot of articulation. You know it's it's a lot of a lot of good stuff, and these pieces just snap. And then you can just drop your little loads in here. Move your crane out the way. Put those in there. Bring your crane down. There you go. Pretty sweet. Definitely, definitely one of the best real working rigs they have. Uh, second release. Came out in this gold color. And the back end has got... 
black decks on it. Uh, crane is the same color, but it's got that extra tampo print on the back, which is really, really, really nice. Really like that a lot. Uh, I wish the first version had that. That is definitely a good thing, a very good thing. This one is, uh, you know, a little oddball in the colors, in my opinion. Mr. Jones Conveyance Yard. Check that out. Denver, Colorado, buddies. Heck yeah. I'll be honest with you. I just noticed that. I just noticed this is Denver. This is... Man, I'm going to have to give me another one of these. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I highly doubt that that's a licensed deco, but... I'll definitely look it up. I'll look it up. If it is, I will put it in the description. It's pretty nice, though. Oop, dropping the dropping the containers out. All right. This one is B46. There it is. Sorry, guys. Black on black is kind of hard to see. So there you go, B46. Uh, we're going to move on to the third version. Sorry guys, things are a little a little weird today. It's all right. I'm gonna bring you the content. So this is the most recent version that came out. This also came out as part of the rebirth of real working rigs. And yes, like a lot of things in real working rigs, there has been budget cuts. And one of the budget cuts is you lose one of the containers. Um, that probably saves like 0.085% of a penny over the course of the entire run but that's fine we still got this model i still like it it looks really good in red um they actually made uh unimog and now that i'm thinking about it i wish i had the unimog with me uh they did make a unimog that had the same tampo print on it in the main line which is pretty sweet so we'll pull this up now it's got no tampo print on the back none so it's part of that that budget constraint um, still has all the functionality to it. The crane still works the same. Um, bed still fold down. Let's see here. This is melting. It's like super, super intricate. Can't quite get into it. Looks good. I like the Matchbox logo on the front. Right there on the grill looks pretty good. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice model. Uh, it's unfortunate that we lose that extra container, but that's okay. That's okay. Still pretty good. All right, we're going to move on to a different kind of material hauler. And this material hauler is also used to build stuff. Uh, so this is the Mercedes Actros cement truck. Now, um, you may look at this livery and you're like, hey, look, it's right there. Uh, so this is the re, this is the original. This is the OG real working rig cement truck. That is the Cement King HD. So this is the other version, and we'll get to this guy. But there's there's a number of differences, but it's it's perfect. It works out just fine. Um King construction, King Concrete. Um I think it's more fitting on this because it's cement HD, but this was many, many, many years ago. Um, we've we've covered the cement truck. Obviously, you have your rotating drum because, of course, you do, and then you have your rotating spout in the back. This version uh, does not have any tampo print on the rear. Um, I don't know if this ever did, but we will check that out for sure as we run through all the models. King Concrete. It's really nice. It's a really nice version, especially from the front. There's your plate. You can decipher plate as you wish. Very good detail on the front. Very, very good. You know, I'm wondering if, uh, if they just made everything left-hand drive in the real-world working rigs, uh, which would be interesting. So here's your base details. This is real working rig number one. So this was the very first one that they came up with was a cement truck which is weird because there's not all that much movement to it. Uh, A42 is your base. 2008. So there you go. Pretty good detail. 
I like this model. I always thought it was perfect. Perfectly proportioned. Very nice. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, came out in red. And so you see Tom Cement. Tom's Transport. Who is Tom? I don't know. Who is Tom? But Tom is an entrepreneur, for sure. Um, I like this version better than the original. I don't like the fact that it's like a, a reddish-orange color for the tampo print on the drum. I think it would have been better just to be red or black. would have been more fitting, in my opinion. Still has all the great detail. Um... You know what I just realized? Look at this. Look at this. I have an error. See that empty spot? I'm missing that piece. Well, son of a biscuit. Well, that sucks. I actually don't think I have an extra one of this one. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I can definitely tell you that it doesn't come out. So I definitely didn't lose it. Well, you guys know I find out stuff going over this stuff. I find out things going over this stuff in real time with you guys that I guess I never paid attention to. So there you go. Uh, there you go. I don't know if there's a plate to decipher there, but if there is, please do so. Same functionality as the other ones. No tampo print on the rear, unfortunately. This one is a 4-0. That is your date code. So you can coincide that to when it came out. Man. And the focus is being crazy today. Crazy focus today. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go on to version numero thres. Flores Cement. This one's a little out there. Um... I like the contrasting. I like that it's different than the other two, but it's it's definitely out there. Um, it, it doesn't to me. It doesn't feel like that would be a, a realistic deco. But like I said, it's these are for kids. We got to We got to accept that. We got to accept that. I do like the fact that it says uh, "Flora Cement" right on the front, which is pretty cool. Definitely different. There are the deets on the side. Obviously, still rotates. Looking good. I do like the teal color. It's pretty nice. There is your plate, should you want to decipher that one as well. No tampo print on the rear. I'm pretty sure this thing never got tampo print, because if you look at it, I mean, really, where are they going to put it? Where are they going to put it? And flip this around. B47 is your date code. That'll tell you when it came out. All right, now we're going to move on to the Rebirth. So this was batch A of this year. This is the Cement King HD. There's a card one right there. Uh, this is the re-released deco of the previous version. And I will do some comparisons with that real quick. We won't spend too much time with it. But I'll throw some comparison up there real quick. We'll hold them up and see what's different, what's not. Just so we can go through them. Let that rotate. Um, I recently did the Batch B cement truck. Um, at least I'm pretty sure this was Batch A this year. No, no, no. This was not Batch A this year. I, I apologize. I apologize. Not Batch A. Anyways, uh, I, I did a unboxing of the other one. There you go. Cement King HD. Uh, this does not have a real working rig number on the base. We've already gone over this. Uh, M12 is your base code. So just real quick. There's where it came from. Old, old versus new. Obviously old on the bottom. Number of things changed on the base. Um, not that much change with the actual functionality. Uh, the look a little bit. Oops. There are the deets on the back. 
We actually uh, gained more metal with the new one. Man, dude, the, the, the zoom is killing me here. So there you go. There's your base changes. And then, real quick, just your top-down views. So there you go. Dude, I'm still, I'm so mad about that piece. I just, I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, last version, most recent. We'll roll this through. This was the uh, version that came out in batch B of this year, 2021. Um, did an unboxing of this. Uh, like a bazillion people have watched that video. So we're definitely not going to spend much time on this. There's the Deets. In 47. There you go. Alright, the last model we have, guys. You knew it was coming. This is the International Workstar Dump Truck. Uh, this dump truck, um, it's pretty nice. It's a little skinny, but it's pretty nice. I think that it works well in the line. It just needed to be a little bit wider. Just a little bit wider. We've gotten some okay versions of this, some not okay versions. This was the original debut version. This was the best one, in my opinion. Uh, it had the most detail to it, which was pretty nice. So, take a look at this. So, you got your painted bar for the tarp that goes over the bed. And you got your color for the tarp on the top. One's a little, a little dusty. Interesting. Um, real working rig number five. That's also on the base. Maybe not. Yep, there it is. We're working rig five. A50 is your debut year. This is in... This is just a generic construction. Nothing fancy. Uh, this one also has the painted visor. Uh, this is metal. It's part of the body. There is the grill. Got your international logo in there. The other side got nice chrome here. Uh, nice exhaust stack back there. Here are the details of the back. Got the tail lights printed. Obviously, the back end opens up and it dumps. Um, there's a locker in there, so you can lock it up if you want to. Man, focus is killing me. Killing me. There it goes. So that exhaust piece is, is separate, which is pretty nice. There you go. We're going to move on to the second version in purple, Wise Bros. I feel like I'm rusty today. I don't do videos for two days and I I feel rusty. I feel rusty, guys. Um, I like the purple. You know, I mentioned this before. I just, I guess I never realized how many match boxes are actually purple. So I remember saying, oh, there's, they don't hardly make anything purple. So this one doesn't get the painted uh, bar there. Obviously, this is the whole dump is black, so this is not done up. So uh, I don't know if that's just a lazy move or not. Uh, still get the painted visor, which is pretty nice. Pretty good details on the side. Still get the chrome. Painted details on the rear. Looking on the base. There's your base. This one, I went over this already. Uh, this one does not have a base code. Oh, there it is right there. Um, this, maybe that's not the one I was looking at. B18. So there you go. That'll tell you when it came out. Front end. It's really nice. Really nice model. All right, we're going to move on to third release. This is Road King Hauling, number 85. Um, 
You might think this one's a little familiar, but the next model will uh, clear that up, get a little clarity in there. So we'll bring this up. Um, we go back to the differential on the top, which is nice. No painting for this sidebar, but that's okay. Uh, visor doesn't get painted, but you know, still have all the good deets on the front. Still have the international logo, which is a nice touch. There's all your details on the side. Always have the, I think this model has always had the taillights decoed up, which is good. Um, and then of course, they all have the exact same functionality. This one, C36. Okay, so now in the Rebirth, they re-released that deco. So this is the one they re-released it in. So it has all the same details, even has that and everything. Still no painted visor. Um, painted tail lights. Actually better tampo print on this one, amazingly. So this is the difference in color. So this is one of the reasons why I tell everybody, just because a real working rig has been released um, almost every single one thus far has been different enough. There's been enough difference to it. And I really encourage everybody to just pick all the versions up because they are different. These are very different, very different color. So, All right, we're going to go on to our very last model. This is uh, right here as well. Okay. Uh, this one is in a homage to Shabir, Shabir, dude, if I butcher your name, I'm so sorry, uh, Shab Shabir Malik, <laughs> man, I feel bad, um, he uh, is a former Matchbox ambassador, uh, overall badass, um, I've met him uh, numerous times, I've done some trades with him at in Albuquerque, uh, he's absolutely a great guy, absolutely great guy, he would never remember me if he saw me, but I would recognize him in a million years because he was Matchbox ambassador. So it's very, very, very nice to get him uh, plastered on a Matchbox model. It's very, very nice. Uh, very, very fitting. Uh, he definitely deserves it. So uh, 2011, I don't know if that was the year he was ambassador or not, but probably is. Either way, very, very nice. It's a very, very good model. It's a very nice tampo print, so very good homage to him. Um, you know, this model in the orange is perfect. I mean, this is true Matchbox right here. This is like Matchbox orange. Uh, tampo prints on the rear. No differential on this part, though, which is a little bummer. And, of course, this is not painted. It was only painted the first time. M47. Real work red number five. So... There you go. So we're going to see if I can get one of each of these guys rotating on here. Do this guy. And we're going to do some offsetting color. Boom. There we go. So sorry the video was a little weird, guys. Um, Maybe I'm a little rusty, I don't know, but I wanted to bring you this next part of the Real Working Rig series. Uh, next part, um, I think I'll try to preview it for you. Uh, we're either going to do dirt haulers or we're going to do military action. So let me know in the comments what you guys prefer first and uh, we'll, we'll work on it, alright? So, alright guys, Level and Diecast, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you coming to the channel. Uh, hope you enjoy your day. Hope you enjoy this video. And uh, peace.